And welcome back to the Sports Report. Over the last few weeks, and if you've been watching the Sports Report for a number of years, you know that we always talk about the John Reed Leadership Award. We ask for uh, nominations. We ask for you to nominate a coach that you think fulfills the seven character traits that we saw in the late Coldwater head coach John Reed. And our latest award winner joining us in the studio uh, this week, Macomb head coach Chris Algy. Coach, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. I always wait till the very end of the of the uh, of the segment to give you this, the latest winner of the John Reed Leadership Award, Chris Algy. Coach, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, Patrick. Really appreciate it. Really so appreciate it. You, first got the, you first got the call or you got the, someone who approached you and said you were the winner. Tell us about what that, what that meant. How'd you feel? Uh, I was just really shocked. Uh, and I'm like, I thought I, he was gonna do an interview uh, for upcoming game. And, and um, when he told me that, I first I thought maybe I was just a nom nominee, but, uh, you know, just very humble. I mean, I was just uh, very appreciative, but uh, I felt like I wasn't deserving. And I thought, ah, oh, you're in the wrong place, you know. But uh, this is an awesome award. You know, I didn't, I didn't know John personally at all, but I, we had a um, student teacher that played for him uh, probably, you know, 15 years ago. And he just had nothing but good to say about John. And he always had John read stories and, and you know, just not only his faith and, and his discipline, but he would be running with the athletes and he would be doing sprints and push-ups with them. And I'm looking at myself and my, my stomach thinking this, I can't do that anymore, but uh, just, just very humble. We hear a lot of talk about, you know, winning is very important and all these kind of metrics and, and coaches are, are dismissed for not getting enough wins. And I don't know that there's enough emphasis placed on uh, character development, on young men development, on program development. Uh, what does an award say, or like this say to you in terms of how that is going at Macomb? I just think uh, this award is a reflection of the whole team. I mean, it's, it's not only, um, you know, the head coach, but it's your assistant coaches, it's your, your um, staff, you know, in the school, your principal, your booster program. So it's a reflection of the whole program. And, and you know, at Macomb, we preach you know, you show up every day, you work as hard as you can, and you give your best effort. And, um, you know, we, we all know kids make mistakes. Uh, you know, I make mistakes as a coach in, in my life, even, you know, throughout the years, and, and you learn from them and you move on. And, and uh, we understand that their kids are immature sometimes and, and some mature faster. But, uh, you know, Macomb, we, we just preach, just keep working hard, you get through it. You're going to make mistakes. You learn from those mistakes. Um, and, and, you know, the coaches do a good job with that at Macomb and, and help me out, especially in the summertime. That's, that's big for us. So, You know, not every season at Macomb, although you've had a lot of them lately, not every season is a winning season. Not every season is a state championship or a BBC championship season. But when you have those rough times, how does that anchor to character, that anchor to Christ, that knowing that there's other people that are involved, that culture that you built, how does that help you get through the, the rougher seasons, the times where the things aren't going according to plan on the field? Well, I think a lot of it is just past athletes that, that we have coached at Macomb. And, and uh, you know, maybe you have a, a tough time and, and when they reach out to you and uh, after they have graduated or, or when you've had the success for guys come back and even the ones maybe they weren't successful come back and, uh, you know, they talk to you, they give you a text and, and they say, hey, anything I can do to help out, you know, this week or whatever. I mean, that goes a long ways, not only for, for us as coaches, but also for our, our current players who maybe they're going through a hard time. And, and we can use them as examples and say, hey, look, this happened to this kid. You know, we, we had some injuries this year, some seniors. And, and wow, what a tremendous attribute they've been um, to go to practice every day and, and not being able to play and encouraging them and being leaders. And uh, so that's the biggest thing, I think, is relationships you build and help with current players and, and the past players have done that. John Reed Leadership Award winner for this year, Macomb head coach Chris Algie and Kochi. That was interesting you mentioned the, the kids that maybe didn't have as much success that are still coming back. Uh, how, how do you see that kind of working into the program and also kind of maybe underwriting the success that you've had in other years, not necessarily for maybe a, a wins and losses 
aspect, but from just the building blocks on what it takes to uh, play good football, what it takes to be a good man, what it takes to be a, a contributing member to society that uh, ultimately sports should be about right. more than just the X's, O's and wins and losses. Right. I, I think, uh, you know, just, just piggybacking on that is just, um, you know, we know football is limited, you know, especially in high school and, and small school football. We, we do not have a lot of kids that go on and, and play that next level. And uh, with a small community, you know, them coming back, it shows how important football and, and how that helped. You know, maybe they're struggling at their job or maybe they're struggling in life. And, and we talk about, hey, you know, that loss and you got to get back up and, and you got to work hard and, and you got to be there for your for your spouse, you know, or, or at your job. You know, it may be tough. You may have to work overtime. Then you got to get up and go to work the next day. And, and we just really feel that, you know, football carries over and we preach that, that uh, things aren't going to go your way all the time. You know, and, and, you know, this year we've had some tough games and we've had to come back in the fourth quarter and, and the kids just know that they can't give up, you know, and that's something we really stress as coaches. Um, never give up, you know. Uh, things may be going bad, but uh, there's a reason. Um, you know, maybe it wasn't your time or maybe, maybe the Lord was protecting you from something. You know, uh, we talked about a kid getting hurt this year and, and he wasn't able to play. A week two where he he had some issues discipline issues and and uh had unsportsmanlike penalty and i said you never know you know maybe god was protecting you from a if you played this week you might have blown out your knee we don't know that <laughs> but maybe god was actually protecting you and and uh you know he's a strong christian kid and, and uh so we try to use that as examples you guys uh, have to get up and go to work here pretty soon. You got a game coming up Saturday against Lima Central Catholic uh, Regional Semifinal. Uh, is the change moving from Friday to Saturday? Has that been? You haven't played yet, obviously, right. but the the preparation you guys get into a pattern has the Saturday night game affecting that at all for you guys this week? Uh, not too bad. I think more it, it might be on Saturday morning. You know, we're not used to. Uh, you know, so we're we're contemplating whether we bring the kids in for a walkthrough, but um, we actually like the extra day to recover, uh, you know, it's a hard hitting game with Pandora. And I know LCC has played some Saturday games, uh, but we're just, we're excited to play, you know, week three and, and our kids are excited to go over to Ottawa, uh, a new turf field mm -hmm. over there. And, and we've never played over there. So we're excited about the opportunity we have. Regional semifinal game, Macomb taking on Lima Central Catholic. Should be an outstanding matchup. Our 2022 John Reed Leadership Award winner, Chris Algie, coach, Congratulations, best of luck to you the hey, rest thanks. of the season. Appreciate it, Patrick. Awesome.